Okay, so we're now this is the surface running yeah, Windows RT. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, Microsoft Surface. You can uh, take a quick look with the, the touch keyboard. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's running the Windows RT version. Okay, so this is not the x86 uh, yeah. version. This is the, the, the full RT version. So you can see we also have the uh, Metro version for the RT. The same power duty. Everything is experienced exactly the same yeah. uh, as on the on the x86 86 machine. So you still get all these uh, libraries, uh, videos, uh, photo, and music playback. And also, uh, it supports. I think that one of the great value for that is that uh, a lot of the ARM system on the market, for for example, Android or other type of devices. Uh, it has very limited codec support. Yeah. Uh, it only plays MP4 files and pretty much that's it. Uh, the, so same thing, we also developed the, uh, our own codec for, for the RT version. So if you put in the USB, USB thumb drive to the device, get some video files on it with the MPEG-2, with the MPTS files, MKV files, you will be able to play back that oh, using PowerGBD. Yeah, because one of the problems have, uh, is I record shows on Windows Media Center, which are MPEG-2, put them on the surface, it can't play them. You cannot play them, yeah. Yeah, so this would this will play save that. me converting everything from MP4. Yes, so I have that folder. I have some, I believe I have some MPEG-2 files. Yeah, these are MPEG-2 files. You can see that, I, I can so. play that. Yeah, that is really good, Dave. See that saves all the conversion. So, I mean, DVD files and everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so that's the, uh, yeah. the same offers for Metro applications mm -hmm. on, on Windows RT. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really good. That's going to be really good. Then.